Hello, thank you for watching The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. Welcome to all the new viewers that have come over from wherever, many of you, Jimmy Dore Show and the Young Turks. Um, this article actually came out December 2nd of last year, but it's a topic that I want to cover because there's something that all of you, all of us can do to help stop this horrifying thing. Uh, there was an article in uh, fightthenewdrug.org, 400 children rescued, 348s arrested after police take down $4 million child porn empire. Um, they basically, uh, yeah, it started, it was really in Canada, <clears throat> but they arrested people all over the place and I'll go into the details. And this is a this is a horrifying thing. And the, the facts, the statistics in this article are <sighs> alarming and it's it's a horrifying thing. As I've talked about um, you know uh, this, is, this is even hard to talk about, but um, it's something we need to address and need to to get out into the open so that um, we can recognize and try to prevent this. So um, what happened? There was a three-year undercover project named Project Spade began back in 2010 when Toronto police officers first made contact with a man who had been sharing very graphic images of child sex abuse. What they eventually found was a full-blown child uh, porn production and distribution company in Toronto that was distributing their content online. The site was run by 42-year-old Brian Way and sold and distributed images of child exploitation to people across the world. The head of Toronto Sex Crimes Unit said they enlisted the help of the United States Postal Inspection Service since many of the videos were being exported to the U.S. and began a joint investigation. After a seven-month investigation, they executed search warrants across the city of Toronto, including the business of Brian Way. Um, yeah, this was a... They found 45 terabytes of data. It's a $4 million business that uh, distributed over 50 countries, including Australia, Spain, Mexico, Sweden, and Greece. As the result of the investigation thus far, 50 people were arrested in Ontario, 58 in other parts of Canada, 76 in the United States, and 164 internationally. What is most alarming, and I'll go into what a friend of mine who's a police officer says after I read this, was many of the rest were people who worked with or closely interacted with children. Among those arrested were 40 school teachers, nine doctors and nurses, six law enforcement personnel, nine pastors and priests, and three foster parents. <clears throat> so I had a friend of mine who is a cop in a large city. I've known him for a long time. And I remember talking with him right after the uh, Sandusky thing and uh, at Penn State and it had just broke and it was like oh my god this is horrifying and he goes oh Graham you have no idea he goes more than likely he was getting kids for uh, alumni and he told me some stories and he was like you know first of all he said if you show me a hundred kids that were molested 96 of them will have come from some tough home situation where they weren't getting enough attention um and even the person the the perpetrator you know the kid is is you know getting sexually assaulted but then the person like gives them a toy or something and they're just like oh wow someone's giving me attention so they don't speak up necessarily and also he said you know it's always somebody that works around kids. Why, that's, it's so horrible on two levels because then it's like, do, are we suspect of anyone that works with kids? Every, anyone that's a, that's a little league coach? It's horrifying. Everyone's, everyone should be looked at guilty, which they're not. There's plenty of people that are just, they like working with kids. They're good with kids. They're not fucking awful child predators. It's, it's, what's, it's what's horrifying. Um, but it, when you see this kind of system and you understand when there's this kind of money at play, how it could be covered up, you know? Like the Joe Paterno knowing about uh, Jerry Sandusky for 13 years and doing nothing about it. <laughs> and, you know, and 
people just don't want to believe it. You know, Franco Harris is like, oh, we need to let the truth come out about Joe Paterno. It did come out, Franco. It's called the Free Report, F-R-E-E-H. It outlines everything that was going on there, and Paterno knew. Um, so why am I bringing this up? Because it's pretty graphic and pretty horrifying, and there's the initial human reaction of, wow, this is awful. I just don't want to deal with this. I don't want to know about this. I, under I understand that because it's, it's, uh, it's uncomfortable for me to read. I almost didn't want to do the article because I was like, I found this. And it's like, ah, ah, ah. But here's why we need to do this. Um, uh, because... First of all, the U.S. Customs <clears throat> Services estimates illegal child pornography is offered by approximately 100,000 websites. And my friend who was the cop was telling me what will happen, Graham, is they'll, they'll be like, it looks like an auction for like whatever, cards or toys or whatever. And, and actually it's, it's, you know, kids or whatever. It's horrifying. So here's what you do. To report an incident involving the possession, distribution, receipt, or production of child pornography, file a report on the National Center for Mission and Exploiting Children. The website is cybertipline.com. I'll put that website below or call 1-800-843-5678. And they even post on this article, here's what you can do. This is a huge problem in our society and we can't let it slip into the background. Share this article, take a stand, and raise awareness on this global issue. So... Um, and this Stop the Demand t-shirt that this, this site sells, which highlights the link between porn and human trafficking. By taking a stand, we can make a difference. So it's something we can all do. If you notice something that's creepy or whatever, uh, or you look at this website, like what's, what, what's up with this one website? It seems weird. Report this. And um, maybe in some small way we can stop this horrifying because if we just stop one kid from being exploited, you've done a good thing because it's fucking awful that this shit exists. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the show. It's so cool, all the new supporters that have come on the show to help me um, do this, uh, me and my girlfriend, and stories like this are awful to have to report and talk about. If we don't talk about it, then nothing changes. Nothing gets fixed. <clears throat> All right. Thanks for watching.